Good morning to all of you. In our last class, we have been discussed about first focal point or the location of first focal point, which is F1. So, what will be the location of F1? We found in our last class. In our last class, we found that the location of F1 is mu1 by mu l into 1 by c. Then we have been discussed about second focal point in case of second focal point this F2 or the coordinate or location of F2 how much we have been found that is minus 1 by C and these things there we have been found 1 by mu 1 by mu well into 1 by C here we have been found 1 by c. So at the end whatever the formula we are getting that is our important part of, of this discussion because this formula is required for whenever we are going to discuss about your Ramsden IPs and Hygen IPs. So for that this is the detailed discussion that for first focal point how much or what will be the locus in generalized way this is for second likewise fast focal point what will be in generalized fast focal point location is what so if now we have been discussed like this at that time we can put directly whenever we are going to be discuss about the IPs okay next we have to discuss about fast principal point First principal point is the location. The location of first principal point P1 from the lens surface is P1 equal to F1 minus X1. So, it is a common way to see the picture. The picture is a common way to see the This is the location of first principal point. The first principal point is the location from the lens surface this to this this distance or if I am going to take this is the reference so this is the from this reference this is the location so from the fo first focal point to first principal point the distance is f1 first focal point to the surface of the lens is x1 so this distance will be f1 minus x1 the so same thing it has been written that f1 minus x1 but as we are taking left side then according to sign convention this distance will be negative so that implies p1 equal to x1 minus f1 we know that x1 is equal to d by c go to your previous page and you can found that x1 is equal to d by c previously here we come to your first focal point first focal point here we have to do some calculation I have been left because for the first focal point that was not required but now to find out the first principal point that things is required so you you correct your note here no correction some extra things we have to write that how the so called uh, our x1 is equal to d by c for that i am i am going to write some extra things that's it c here y1 by alpha 1 how much we have been found minus d by c okay then whatever the derivation we have done from, from up, after equation number 3 whatever the derivation we have we done that is for your first focal point now something I have going to do extra which is required now our first principal point for our first principal point see from that triangle which is F1 and this suppose suppose this is A and B 
okay this point is a and this point is b so from the triangle f1 ab i can also write tan alpha 1 is equal to how much tan alpha 1 is equal to y1 by x1 right but y1 is in the y1 is in the positive y axis direction but x1 as it is negative so it will be y1 by minus x1 as alpha is small so alpha 1 can be written as y1 by minus x1 okay now here we found that y1 by alpha 1 equal to minus d by c hence if i am going to put this alpha 1 here then it will be y1 by y1 by minus x1 is equal to minus d by c that implies x1 is equal to d by c so what i told that previously we have been found or it is written here that uh, from previously or we know that it is for your uh, for your first principal point uh, we have been written that we know that x1 is equal to d by c so this is the x1 is equal to d by c so you write here this extra part whatever i written here okay now come to the first principal point explanations we found that x1 uh, is equal to d by c that implies and f1 f1 we found uh, mu1 by mu l into 1 by c hence p1 p1 equal to d by c minus mu1 by mu l into 1 by c that implies p1 equal to d minus mu1 by mu l whole divided by whole divided by c so this is our first principal point location location of first principal point then we have to move towards the second principal point simply likewise the second principal point location uh, can be uh, how much come to the second figure so second principal point location is, is the, this distance x2 this distance x not this distance x2 this distance b2 p2 to b b root P2 भीतर जो distance तले ये distance तक कहते हैं ला F2 minus X2 as both are in the right side of the lens so F2 and X2 will be taken as positive so the second principal point location P2 will be how much that is F2 minus X2 that will be F2 minus X2 F2 minus X2 so previously f2 how much we, we found minus 1 by c and x2 we have been found a by c okay here is the explanation of your how x2 is a by c or the that is the minus a by c previously you can found alpha 2 8 here we come to the second focal point alpha 2 how much we got minus y1 by f2 uh, y1 by f2 or alpha 2 y2 by x2 got it it, it minus of huh? this is minus correct it correct it sorry this this has to be minus this has to be minus so alpha 2 is equal to y2 by x2 in which section second focal point to the section ta achi it minus lekha ho. so alpha 2 y2 by x2 alpha 2 y2 by x2 that implies x2 is equal to minus y2 by alpha 2 however y2 by alpha 2 is equal to a by c y2 by alpha 2 is a by c so we found that x2 is equal to minus a by c if i will be put here instead of x2 then it will be p2 is equal to a minus 1 by c so this is the information or location or coordinate of the second principal point of 
a thick lens ha huh. another thing i want i want to tell to you that see whenever we are drawing this type of figure means ethi phanka achi ethi ethi join heini e di ta mundare join heini emti join heini that means it is a representation of a thick lens this is the representation of a thick lens kintu jodi ए भाया फिगर अच्छे जोटा कि आज मुझे तुमको नोट देवी सो दिस विल बी द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ अ थिन लेंस ओके थिक लेंस रो रिप्रेजेंटेशन इज लाइक दिस सो तमे एक्चुअली थिक लेंस कहले मोटा थिन लेंस कहले सरु कथा एति कि तुम कर ये भी मोटा देखा जाउ छी तुम कर एठु जदि हमें जॉइन नो करिया सो दिस इज द सिंबोलिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ योर थिक लेंस ओके now we have to move towards the first and second nodal point the first nodal point is at here is at here means just after principal point we know that the nodal points of the thick lens as the location or the point where the incident ray are emergent ray will be parallel with each other so the location of this point suppose z1 suppose z1 so previously we know the general equation y2 is equal to ki alpha 2 is this much and as this ray and this emergent ray parallel with each other obviously alpha 1 equal to alpha 2 so alpha 1 equal to alpha 2 let that is alpha so y2 is equal to a y1 plus b alpha and alpha equal to c y1 plus d alpha let this equation number 2 and z1 is the distance between p1 and n1 now from the triangle a p1 n1 a p1 n1 tan alpha will be y1 by z1 y1 by z1 but z1 we have to take negative because we are moving this side means if this is the center of the lens this is the center of lens so in the left side whatever we are going to measure according to sign convention it will be negative so it will be as z1 is negative though it will be tan alpha is equal to minus y1 by z1 as small angle y1 by minus y1 by z1 that implies z1 equal to minus y1 by alpha equation number 3 now alpha is equal to c y1 plus d alpha that implies if we are going to take alpha common 1 minus d into is equal to c y1 that implies alpha equal to c y1 by 1 by d we are if we are going to put this alpha value this alpha value here then i will be found d minus 1 by c so this is this is the equation previously i have written okay alpha equal to c y1 alpha equal to c y1 plus d alpha now second nodal point is the distance between p2 and n2 what is the distance this is the p2 and n2 so here we have to take z is the positive but y2 y2 as it is negative y axis roi jai chi zeta y2 ta negative ni havo so like that z2 is the distance between p2 and n2 and from the triangle b p2 n2 will be tan alpha 2 is equal to minus y2 by z2 as y2 has to be taken as negative according to sign convention for small angle alpha 2 is equal to this will be alpha and z2 is equal to y2 by alpha y2 by alpha by z2 here z2 is equal to y2 by alpha so here but y2 how much we have been found here y2 is nothing but a uh, y1 plus b alpha so like that minus a y1 plus b alpha is equal to this much but alpha is equal to c y1 by 1 by d here we found 
then I, if I will put this value here in the, here then I can found this one and this one this is the location of second nodal point so what are the remembering points important points that we have to be remember from these six nodal points that is this value if somebody will ask what will be the nodal points nodal point of the thick lens this is the this one so first second one first one then uh, the so called principal point in general like these are the generalized formulas okay uh, the uh, second principal point a minus 1 by c likewise uh, this is uh, p1 d mu1 minus mu1 by mu l by c uh, second focal point minus 1 by c first focal point is your mu1 by mu l into 1 by c so these are the things that we have to remember for our preceding so, uh, topics that we are going to discuss in our next class i'll give you tomorrow a question note dei debi tar kali por din dei din chutti achi chutti de tum bas kya ko likhibo likhile next class ko ame discussion kariba so today writing note is equivalent focal length of two thin lenses separated by some distance okay thank you